Hi guys, um, welcome to the channel. Excuse the uh, hat and the beard, just locked down and all that. Uh, today we're going to be uh, uh, some dodo juice, uh, supernatural leather cleaner, uh, and we'll be doing that on my E92 M3. Um, as you can see, the interior is rather cream, and uh, we'll need a little bit of love. So we'll start on the on the passenger seat and see how we get on I will we'll start with the uh, with the bottom half and do as it says we'll spray the leather and then we'll work that in with a good uh, horsehair brush As you can see, this is a brand new, clean, white uh, microfiber cloth, and we'll see what we get. Very dirty. So, uh, good marks at the moment. I'd say I got good reviews when I looked at it online, just uh, before I picked one to, to use. Because not only do you want a cleaner, you also want one that, as you can see, that is just, just from the bottom. So, definitely uh, some grime on there. And so I've only had this car basically a month for the day and um, haven't got around to giving the leather a clean yet. So definitely, definitely overdue. We'll start on the... Uh, on the back bit now. I've, uh, I've I've roughly done the back, and um, but you can tell some lines have come through and where it's dribbled, just down here. So it needs a bit of work, but I haven't done that bit, and you can clearly see the difference. Um, but it needs a, obviously a little bit more work, and um, obviously I don't want to take the the colour off too much. And I hear what you say with. You know, people out there are probably saying, why, why did you go with cream? Yeah, why not? Um, black's a bit boring. If you've got M3, I wanted to stand out a little bit. Uh, I, do, I do like the red. If I went for a white one, probably would have had red, red leather. Um, but this is, uh, it's hard to see in the in the video. Obviously, you've got to love the carbon roof. Um, it's not actually just the normal black. This is actually ruby black and the sun's not out today, but... Uh, normally there will be plenty of um, plenty of fleck, but not today. But we'll see. We'll do that for another day and show the actual um, show the popping of the of the paint. I'll give it a go on the on the door now. It doesn't look too bad, but time will tell. It might be a lot a lot worse than it looks. We'll give it a go. Oh. I think it looks better. It's hard with the light. These dark patches, I think, are actually shadows. But um, yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy with that. Not many people get in the passenger side, so it should be uh, should stay quite clean for a decent amount of time. I'm going to do the backs. They, um, I think, the light shows them that they're cleaner than they are, but they're actually very dirty. I don't, I don't have anyone really see at the back of mine, so I'll give these a, a clean and. Um, We'll see what what the outcome is, but they are a lot dirtier than they look. So we'll spruce them up and show you in a minute. I've done one side, so I've done up to uh, there and down. Um, I don't know if you can. It's hard to see, but you can see it's quite clean. Hope I put the flash on. You can see it's quite clean and there. Filthy filthy in there. I don't know if this is the same as the other side when I move this there's a complete different line. Uh, yeah you can just about see it. So I don't know I've been doing some dirty old stuff in here. I don't know um why you would order from the factory in cream if you were gonna be um a bit not look after it but we'll do our best to at least bring it back to some kind of glory. I'll do the other seat now. 
that's the interior done on there uh, or the seats done um, but uh, please uh, like subscribe um, very new to this so I won't just be all all cleaning we'll actually go out for a, a bit of a burn on this and um, kind of well I wouldn't say do's and don'ts but uh, we'll have a little play and um, so you can listen I'll show you something with my uh, my daily E92 um, of what leather shouldn't look like and I'll um, I'll literally give you a little show of my driver's seat it's not the best at the moment but I'll, uh, what I'll do I'll quickly wipe so leather should never be shiny like that that shine might look good but it's actually basically grease off yourself uh, or off me same with the steering wheel um, so what I'll do I'll kind of try and do a little half and uh, just show you the difference especially on this bit here and hopefully that will come out uh, a bit dull so I've done the the bottom one I still look shiny but um, it is and compared to that shine you can see how uh, um, how dirty it is I might literally be able to just take a little bit off that and just show you so if I just spray that bit and we'll just work it a little bit with the brush and we'll just see how much difference that actually does make well you can already see the actual it's not a white foam it's, it's a bit brown so um, well, I do use this car as my daily go to work and uh, I have another unit where I normally land under a car so I should probably get a car seat really or will cover but there we go learn the hard way so we'll, uh, we'll wipe this down actually we'll use this quite another new clean cloth and we'll just so you can see black hide dirt well um, well that's the other cloth from the other car so that's that's the white that this used to be and I've got another cloth exactly the same so I've had to use two for the for the M3 um, and you can see how brown it is so once I uh, once this dries hopefully that won't be as shiny as the rest and they do take a little bit of time to dry but there's still dirt coming off see from the same uh, so that is the dirt and hopefully there's just a, it's a little bit dull look so that is what leather should look like not like that now I've just done the rest of this bolster and say so as you can see from what it was before that um, is a lot darker and more matte so um, I haven't done any of that but yet you can see from the other side how shiny that is and how dull this is um, and I always find um, that might just be me in the way I'll get in the car but if I'm wearing a pair of jogging bottoms um, where it's more dull and not slippery you end up uh, having half your backside hanging out when you get in the car because that grips hold of it and um, make sure you're there make sure you're doing them up tight but um, now I've done that, I'm going to have to do the rest of the car now because uh, it needs a bloody good hoover. Um, but so this is just the, the daily diesel and then uh, get to play in the toy uh, at the weekend. So This is what it was like after uh, basically the whole of the M3. Most of this was, um, was off the daily. But you can see how white this is and uh, how not this one is. And so these were all brand new um, <clears throat> and so we do we use the dodo juice um, and be fair it's done quite quite well this is um there's quite a bit left in there um, there we go so that's done uh, all of the seats for the m3 um, and the drivers uh, for the um, for the diesel so definitely do a lot a lot of car um, is it better than anything else I don't know. Uh, I'll use a quite a bit of Auto Vanessa stuff. Um, 
I love this for the wheels and uh, snow foam, um, really good stuff. Um, metal polish stuff, and a lot of this stuff is quite, quite cheap. Um, for actual polishing the cars, uh, I normally, I normally use the some of this. Um, we've got the three eight, got a two and a half, and. Uh, for a heavy cut, we got the thousand, but um, but yeah, uh, like and subscribe, and say uh, we'll do a few more videos of the M3, more of um, the stuff that people like to see, which will be uh, some nice roads, some V8 revving, and um, we'll try not to get it too sideways, but uh, and then we'll be some some how-to videos. There'll be. Uh, uh, probably change the front discs because uh, they're, they're not too bad but they're, they're a little bit warped um, we'll probably change the angel eyes uh, for LEDs um, that one's got white LEDs already in these ones are yellow and I think just having them having them white um, just makes stuff a little bit a little bit cleaner um, the, the dailies uh, a pre LCI um, and the M3 is an LCI so you get the the LEDs, which again make stuff so much cleaner. Um, I got a private plate just, and I'll tell you why. The original uh, plate was this, which is actually back to front. If I do it that way, so let me spin. Uh, put in the comments of what you think that says, even though it doesn't say anything like it. But as soon as I read it, that came up with two words, which I. Um, I thought, as much as uh, most M3 <laughs> drivers are, um, I'll try not to be. Um, this one actually comes with indicators and everything. Um, haven't found them yet, mind you. But, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll hopefully see you again for another vid. Could be cleaning, could be driving, um, could be how-to. Uh, I want some carbon bits for this front splitter, rear wing, uh, diffuser. That's already got a... Um, a mod, uh, 2.5 mod for the bit back box, so it's a little bit, um, a little bit noisier than, than standard. So, but yeah, we'll see you again.